You know, as I look out the barn door here, I realize there's a lot of people running a little scared right now. And, you know, there should be, um, there should be some definite caution, um, but there's a lot of craziness going on too. Um, but I want to reassure you that, uh, in my opinion, my opinion may not be worth a plug nickel that this too shall pass. Um, the, uh, hopefully the virus is like all other flu viruses. They're not sure yet as of today. And, uh, it di starts dying out or waning in the, uh, as we approach summer. But, uh, I hope you're doing some things to prepare. I'm not saying don't prepare. Uh, the P in TP2 is for a prepper. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely believe persons should prepare. Uh, but I want to show you some, or tell you about, show you a few things and tell you about some things that maybe you don't know, um, about. I went to Sam's uh, last Saturday and went to Sam's the Saturday before that, but there's no, there was no toilet paper there, but there were a lot of things that, um, that you would think people would have scrambled to buy. Uh, cleaning supplies are, were in short, are, are in short supply most everywhere you go. Uh, Purex and Clorox wipes and things like that. Um, but they're going to just show you a few things that I purchased and that I always keep on hand and uh, that maybe you can find because they're just, uh, they're, they're not as, um, people don't know about them yet. Let's put it that way. And they may be, uh, you may be able to find them in your, uh, either on Amazon or in a store close to you. So let me show you a few things. Wouldn't this be a good time to just stock up on soap? You got to be washing your hands. You got to be washing your hands. And uh, if you're in contact with anybody, uh, as soon as you come in, wash your hands. Odaban. Don't know if you've heard of it or not. It's a disinfectant. It says on the back that it is a viricide, I believe they call it. It does kill viruses. They even give the mixture, the concentration to use to kill the HIV virus. So, pretty good stuff. It smells pretty doggone good. You can spray it. Uh, I've always been able to spray it on fabrics and stuff. It's not a bleach. It's not going to hurt your fabrics and stuff. I use it in the laundry because I come in pretty sweaty and stanky. So, uh, but Odaban, we keep some, we always keep some, but I bought, uh, they would only, Sam's would only let me have two, but I bought uh, two extras. And um, as of the other day, as of a couple of days ago, it's available on Amazon. So I'll put a link to all this stuff on Amazon. And Amazon, bring it, bring it to your door. You don't have to fight the crowds. You don't have to uh, fight the um, contagion out there. So if you can get Amazon to bring it to you, why would you not do that? I hope you're an Amazon Prime member. I'll also have a link below so you can become a Prime member. Uh, and, and they ship most everything, most everything on their site. Uh, is shipped prime, which means free if you're a prime member. But Odaban, 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 I really like this stuff. It's uh, the hospitals use it. It's really, really good. And Sam's had uh, a pallet of it. Nobody was choosing Odaban. You couldn't find Clorox anywhere. And to me, this is so much better because it doesn't stain anything. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, bleach anything. It, we spray it on. It's, it's like uh, you can use it like. Uh, What's the Febreze or something like that <clears throat> to spray on your fabrics and stuff like that, your car interior and stuff? I do it all the time. Not all the time. I do it. <laughs> I do it when my car interior stinks. <laughs> but uh, Odaban, if you haven't thought about it, if you don't know about it, never heard of it, Odaban. Amazon's a little more pricey than Sam's, so if you have a Sam's close, uh, you might want to see if they've got it, and if they do, get you some. If not, shoot, get it from Amazon because. Um, uh, I think it's I think it's a good buy. I think it's something you everybody needs. Odaban. First of all, soup. Just plain old chicken noodle, chicken rice. Just not the prego, not the you know real fancy schmancy stuff. Just a simple bowl of soup. And there was plenty of this at Sam's. There was not. There was no rice. No bags. No big bags of rice. No big bags of beans. Uh, no uh, ramen noodles at all. And they usually have a pallet or two, but there was plenty of 
plain old chicken noodle soup. So there's one thing that you should be able to find and you definitely should think about getting some. Peanut butter, your favorite brand, get you some. I'm, I love peanut butter, but for some reason I just don't, it's not something, it's not, it's not my go-to. I don't, I don't think about eating it a lot. And I probably should, but uh, get you a big uh, thing or two or three or five of peanut butter, especially if y'all are, uh, you're, you and your kids are peanut butter holics. Uh, make sure you got plenty. For me, this is a no brainer. Love these mashed potatoes. They are premium, real mashed potatoes. It says right there on the box. They also, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a dehydrated potato. Put a little milk in it, put a little, I don't know, I don't make them, my wife does, milk and butter in it. You probably, with the exception of not having any lumps in it, you won't know they're not real. Excellent, excellent potatoes. We've eaten these for years. I bought a couple of more boxes at Sam's the other day, and there were plenty there. People don't know about them. It's a great source of calories. It's a great comfort food to have mashed potatoes, and this is a good one. Uh, if Sam's doesn't have it, I bet Amazon does. There's not a run on these so far. Let me show you something else. So if you are a bacon eater, this is a no-brainer. This is what I eat just about every morning. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe I shouldn't be so proud of that. But this Black Label Hormel is fully cooked. It's, it's cured. It's ready to eat. All you have to do is warm it up. Don't even have to do that. It's, um, but it keeps so long. I don't know whether you can read that, but it says freeze or use or freeze by September 2020. This is not even April yet. So this stuff will last. They don't it's not even in the frozen section in at, at Sam's. It's it's in, it's on the floor and on a pallet. Sam still had a lot of this. They didn't have as much as they had two weeks ago, a week ago. But they still had quite a bit of this because people are not buying it. Uh Walmart I don't know, Walmart probably sells it. I know Amazon has it. Uh, this might be a good time, again, to go shopping on Amazon and get some things delivered to your house if you don't want to get out. Um, but this is it's fully cooked. It's just ready to go, and it's really good bacon. And uh, I, I don't know the price. I think it may be 13 15 I, I really don't remember. It doesn't matter. I bought a bunch. Uh, I went ahead and put it in the freezer because I've got some in the house. I've got two or three packages in the house. So I just brought this straight to the freezer. And how long it'll last in the freezer, I don't know, but I bet it's a year or two. Uh, I would think so. Because again, it just says freeze or use by uh, September 2020. So it's telling you to at least freeze it by September. Well, it doesn't say how much longer it's gonna last after that. And if it wasn't a long, 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 long time, I bet you they'd tell you because they, they've they got a liability issue. So I think I think this would last a long, long time. People are not buying it like you would think. Now, the regular bacon, it's kind of funny. The regular bacon, when I walked by it in, at Sam's, was sold out. I didn't see any regular bacon. A lot of the meats were gone. But this, they had a pallet of this. So, again, nobody knows about it. Uh, I don't know. I love it. I eat it every morning. Dad gum it. Get you some. There's a link below. Canned meat. I don't know how crazy you are about it. We like it. We don't eat it a lot, but I do like it. Uh, the, this is that is 2011. I wouldn't be afraid for a minute to eat that. Now I'm not just gonna open it, shove it in my mouth. I'm gonna smell it first and everything. But my understanding is. This stuff will last for, can last for decades. Doesn't mean it will, but it can. That's 2011 also. So that gives you an idea of what I've done in the past, uh, you know, 10 years ago. Um, and that is uh, lunch meat, luncheon meat, canned meat. Uh, another thing that was prevalent in Sam's is this. Sam's had lots and lots of this tuna fish. Again, look at the date on that. 2009, not 19, nine. We've eaten this uh, recently. It's uh, It lasts for a long time. I'm not telling you you should buy stuff and eat it 30 years from now or 10 years from now, whatever. That's your 
decision, but I'm saying Sam's had a bunch of this on their, they had two different pallets of it, two different uh, kinds or, or uh, sizes. Maybe one of them was a 10 pack, one an eight pack or something. I don't know. Or one of them was in water, one of them was in oil. I don't remember, but I'm just saying Sam's had a bunch of this and people were overlooking it. Don't overlook it. Get it from Sam's, get it from your grocery store, get it from Amazon, wherever you get it, get you some tuna if you like tuna. Because everything I'm showing you is stuff that will last for a long, long time. You need some kind of oil. Uh, we use Pam a lot, but we do also use olive oil. And I've done some, recently did some research on olive oil and it lasts about um, at least a year, if not longer than that. Uh, this came from Sam's, but you can buy it anywhere. And people are probably overlooking olive oil. Uh, or any kind of cooking oil, they're probably overlooking that. But olive oil will last a pretty good while, uh, a year, maybe longer, uh, unopened. After it's opened, it's they say a few months, but I shoot, we don't use it that often. I've opened all of olive oil and uh, it's been in the cabinet for a year probably when we were still using it. So uh, again, I'm not an expert on this. Don't take my advice and get yourself sick on something that's rancid, but you can smell oil when it gets rancid olive oil get you some vegetable oil if you like vegetable oil it'll keep about the same amount of time about a year i think unopened is what they say and if that's what they say then it's typically a lot longer than what they'll actually admit to i know this is not the first thing you think of <laughs> it's crisco but uh I, we've we've got some again we've had that for a while right I have used it. I'm not telling you it'll last forever and ever. They say two years, I think, or something like that. I've used it when it was 10 years old and had been stored in a hot garage. So, and it was fine. I'm not saying it'll be fine for you, but they say there's a smell and a, a discoloration when it goes bad. So, like I say, the stuff I'm showing y'all is stuff that other people aren't grabbing so probably going to be available either online or in the, in the stores, but also uh, things that will last for a long time. Buy you a 20 pack of soap, nothing happens. You got a 20 pack of soap, you know, I'd save it for the fall when this stuff comes back. Cause it's probably going to come back in the fall if it dissipates in the summer, but Crisco's a good bet for cooking oil. It lasts to me, in my opinion, it lasts a lot longer than uh, vegetable oil and other oils like that. If you can find it, hydrogen peroxide. It's cheap, lasts for years, if you can find it. Again, I'll put links online to get you some of this. Don't forget the dog food, cat food, whatever kind of critter you're feeding. If at all possible, raise your own food. Nothing like coming out here and gathering the fresh eggs. If at all possible. If you've got a backyard, city ordinance says it's okay, raise some of your own food. There's a freedom of, there's a, a sense of accomplishment, there's a, a freedom in knowing that you're a little bit self-sufficient from uh, that comes from raising your own food so do that raise your own food and last but not least plant a garden it can be a container garden like this it's got lettuce in it those containers are going to go in those tomatoes are going to go in some big containers uh, got basil here some more tomato plants plant a garden you may not be able to find a can of tomatoes at the store right now but you can find a tomato plant i bet you if you've got a place to plant it stick it in the ground watch some videos on gardening and uh this one my neighbor gave me just full of blooms even got a little tomato on it so plant a garden get some skills you will need them in the coming months, I'm afraid.